I legit have had to take several deep breaths over the past 24 hours because of all of this crap. I am telling you guys right frickin' now that there is no release date for Security Breach. Scott nor Steel Wool have said anything about a release date. And I don't know about you guys, but I would rather get my information from the people making the damn game rather than a website who has had incorrect info about the game in the past. Oh boy, this is gonna be a very fun video to make. Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny and welcome back to a video where I am venting again because I am extremely frustrated. I can't remember a time when I have been more frustrated with this community. Like, I, I actually cannot think of a time. This is ridiculous, right? There are so many people out there on social media, especially here on YouTube, saying that Security Breach is coming out either next week, which is just honestly the most absurd and stupid thing I've ever heard in my entire goddamn life, either this month, which, okay, could be likely, but also not really, or it's coming out in 2021, which is probably the more likely option, but neither of them. I say neither. Like, neither as in the three of those things have been confirmed, okay? It's honestly ridiculous, and that, that's it's my least favorite thing about YouTube, right? You see a trendy topic, security breach, you see a release date, you make it into a video, you clickbait it, you get millions and millions of views. I'm telling you right now, again, there was no release date for the game. Last we heard from Scott and Steel Wool was that Scott said it was coming out later this year, and Steel Wool said there was, quote, no way it's coming out on November 12th. So tell me, boys, do you really think it's coming out next week now? Do you really think it's coming out this month now? Because I don't think it is. To be fair, a 2021 release date is, again, the most likely option here. December could be as well. It could come out in December. I see that as a possibility. Um, but again, that no way it's coming out in mid-November statement makes me feel like, okay, maybe we're aiming towards a mid to late December if we're still going with 2020. But there was just no goddamn way in hell, right? I'm swearing a lot, but frankly, I don't care. YouTube, take my demonetization money. I don't care. There was no goddamn way it's coming out next fucking week. Like, what logic do you have? Now, I'm not going to name any names, but I am thinking of a few people in particular who have said these things. It's just, okay. So the next week option, completely stupid, right? I don't even wanna talk about it. It's actually absurd and ridiculous. It makes no sense. This month, the only real logic I see to that is the release date of the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5, which again, they are coming out this month. In fact, they are coming out very, very soon. But again, Stu Wall said there's no way, again, quote, no way it's coming out on those dates. Also, if it was coming out alongside the PS5 and Xbox Series X, we would have we would have had that information in the trailer. It would have said, you know, available on launch day. But it didn't. Now the 2021 option, for, by the way, I know I'm not showing any like pictures on screen. I'll, I'll do it now, but I'm guessing everyone knows about this because it's been all over the community. Because people see things and they just take it at face value. They don't look into it at all. The website, right, the UK game website, it said Security Breach is uh, coming out in 2021. Which, to be fair, again, it seems likely at this point. But that site, while valid, it is an actual creditable site has had incorrect info on Security Breach in the past, right? It says the game is 18 and up, which of course is not going to be the case. No FNAF game has been 18 and up. So why they would do it now, I, I don't know. It just doesn't seem likely. When looking at the trailer, looking at merchandise, what Scott and Stu will have said about the game, it just doesn't seem like it's going to be 18 plus. And again, all the other FNAF games have always been 12 and up. So that was incorrect. Also, there's a price of 40 United States dollars on there, which again, it seems likely. I do see that being um, the price range. In my opinion, it's probably going to be 30 to 40 dollars, but that's not from Stu Wall. And I'm sorry, I do not accept any information that does not come from Scott or Stu Wall. And that 2021 release date, again, it does seem likely, but, but we cannot take it as fact because that site, again, it's had incorrect info in the past. So do I think it's releasing next week? 
No way in hell. No god dang way. Is it releasing this month? Probably not. December? It is likely. It is a possibility. Not likely. It, it, it's a possibility. But 2021 does seem like the likely option here. Also, something that I just don't see people talking about is the fact that Scott is not making this game. It's being made by Steel Wolf, you know, a triple A studio that actually makes games. So they can't just release this game whenever they feel like it, you know, they have to have a set release date. Now the reason why it's taking them so long, can you guess why? It's kind of been, you know, one of the main focus points about this year. It's of course the pandemic. I say this in every video talking about security breach. I feel like we would have had this game already if it weren't for COVID-19. And again, here goes all my money because I'm talking about the pandemic now, but I totally think this is the biggest reason why the game has been delayed so much. Do I think the game was delayed? Absolutely. Do I think it was delayed to 2021? I don't know because it's not been confirmed. I definitely do think we were supposed to get this game um, quarter, probably two to three for this year, right? We thought it, it was gonna be released in late spring and then oopsie, that didn't happen. And then we thought about the summer and that came and went. Same thing with August, September, October, and now most likely November and maybe even December as well. So what do we get out of this experience, right? Oh God, did I even talk about the, um, the heckin' interview with Kieran? Yeah, people are saying that she said that the game is coming out this month. Uh, she did not. I was actually going to read that article last night because I wanted to make a video about the future of FNAF AR, and I'm probably still going to do that, but, you know, it's like people see the article with the title, Interview with Kieran, and then they see a line that says, Security Breach coming out this month. I'm telling you right now, as a person who read through that entire article, that Kieran did not say that. It was the person writing the article that said that, and I, I highly doubt they know the release date for a security breach. It would just, it would make no sense. Honestly, all of this can just be chalked up to, you know, common sense. Use your brain, guys. And it's so unfortunate because the majority of the FNAF fan base, and I said this during my now private live stream, they're all mostly kids. I don't care if you say, oh, but I'm 13, oh, I'm 12. The majority of the FNAF fan base, unfortunately, is kids, and they take whatever they are told as, as fact. You know, they don't look into it further. They see their favorite YouTuber, oh look, Darko said that the game's being delayed to 2021 on Twitter. They take that as fact. And the average FNAF fan just looks on YouTube for their information. You know, again, they probably just watch Darko and all the other FNAF news channels for their information on the franchise. And if they go on YouTube and they see all these people saying, oh, the next game is coming out next week, it's coming out this month, it's being delayed. They are going to believe that because all of these videos have been set up in a way to make you think that that video is providing correct information when nobody freaking knows the release date. Again, it's my least favorite thing about FNAF on YouTube is that either you're always first or you make it clickbait enough that you rise up. And that's exactly what people are doing with this. Saying it's coming out next week, saying it's coming out this month, saying it's been delayed. Oh my gosh, it's been delayed to next year. But they said 2020, they lied to us? It's so unbelievably frustrating to go on social media and see all of this crap that I know is not correct. But people take it as fact because they are so desperate for this game. I want the game too. Do not get me wrong, but I know 100% Scott and Steel Wolf are working their butts off at home, by the way, because again, there was a pandemic on this big game. The biggest game in the six year lineup. It's just so unbelievably frustrating, guys. And that's, again, that's the reason why I did that big live stream the other day. I say other day, it was just yesterday, because I wanted to say something, but people, people don't listen. You know, again, they, they see it and they believe it. Really, there's no point in me making this video. I could title it Security Breach Coming Out Very, Very Soon, and it would probably still get the same response. But I am trying to be honest here. Nobody knows. If anybody is lying, it's not Scott and Steelwool, it's the creators. Goddamn, that got a lot deeper than I meant it to. <laughs>
Anyways, I am fucking done. I wanted to make a video about the future of FNAF AO. I wanted to make a video about, uh, I wanted to make a FNAF AO video, but then there was no update. Like, what is up with that? The one time I looked forward to FNAF AO that night, it doesn't happen. Anyways, I'm done. I, God, I hope this whole thing passes next week. I hope it's all over by Monday because I can't go through this anymore. I get people want the game, but you also got to realize this is a massive game being made by a company, yes, but a very small company. And when you have a game being made by a studio, and that game is revealed alongside games such as Final Fantasy, Fortnite, Call of Duty, Spider-Man, you know, all those big games, you know, Resident Evil 8, Resident Evil Village, you know, you have these massive games, and, and then you have FNAF in there, right? For like a day or two, FNAF was the most viewed trailer in that showcase. And when you have a game that big, big enough that it is in the next generations of consoles game showcase, you have to stick by a release date. Even if release dates get screwed up because of the pandemic and things release early. Honestly, I said I was done already with the video and now I'm especially done because I don't want, to. I, I don't, believe it or not, I don't like making ranting videos, especially on topics that I know a lot of people are going to be pissed about. You know, even FNAF AR, I don't like uploading those videos where I just crap on the game because I don't like to be that type of creator. I don't like to be, oh, I hate this, but this is important. Anyways, I'm done. Um, <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. I shouldn't have to make this video, but unfortunately, I do. So yeah, that's it. Hopefully we can have a better weekend and this will all be Pushed off, pushed off to the side. Maybe even we'll hear some things from Scott and Steelwall because Kane Carter did tweet at them on Twitter. So hopefully they actually say something. Now I'm not saying Scott and Steelwall are in the right here. I 100% believe that they revealed the game way too early. And again, I've said this a lot. Quickly running through it because I've done the outro twice now. We got our first teaser in August of 2019. And now we are almost done with 2020 and we have had almost nothing as for a release date. So I definitely do think that is bad on their part, but at the same time, I'm more frustrated with the community than I am with Scott and Steelwall right now. I think that's where I'm gonna leave it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all in a better video. Bye bye Gregory, be still. I think she's found us.